my name is Vivian Uti and I'm one of the BD2K Big Data Summer Fellows in the Mind Lab. I'm here today to share with you Chia 3, a new tool that can be used to perform transcription factor enrichment analysis. To begin, I will share a brief background on transcription factor enrichment analysis. Then, you will consider the approach behind developing Chia 3 and the differences between older versions of Chia and other ChIP-seq enrichment analysis tools. With that background, a case study using Chia 3 will bring our focus to the, to the adaptive features of this web application. The last segment of this presentation will discuss future plans for Chia 3. Let's get started. Transcription factors are proteins that control gene expression by binding and unbinding near coding regions to regulate the transcriptional machinery. Transcription factor enrichment analysis can aid in identifying the transcription factors responsible for observed changes in gene expression at the mRNA level when comparing control and perturbation samples. As an example of transcription factor enrichment analysis, we use the tool Enricher to test for the transcription factor enrichment. In this case, using the Fisher exact test and in comparing transcription, transcription factor targets from chip seek studies to the upregulated genes from ovarian cancer cells that are compared to normal human mesothelial cells. As seen in the right diagram, Enricher identified RELA and IRF8, suggesting an inflammatory response and SUZ12, JARA2, and EZH2, which are part of the PRC2 complex, suggesting changes to the epigenome. Chia3 integrates transcription factor targets from multiple libraries to enhance transcription factor enrichment analysis. It uses eight libraries for transcription factor enrichment analysis. Here we can see the eight libraries include Arches4, GTEx, Biogrid, FreeMap, Chia, ENCODE, enricher and perturbations. The number of gene sets, unique transcription factors, interaction size, and descriptions can also be seen on this slide. We validated our library integration approach by using each library individually, which are indicated by the individual library lines in the bridge plot, and all together indicated by the integrated line in the bridge plot to predict the perturbed transcription factors from the gene signatures derived from 900 single transcription factor perturbation experiments that were manually mined from GEO. These bridge plots show that integrating the libraries results in much better predictions than using each resource individually. The Achia 3 web application acts as a search engine for gene sets and performs transcription factor enrichment analysis for each library and integrated library. It integrates the results on a user input gene set. It checks for overlap between inputted genes and transcription factors. Thereafter, it ranks transcription factors based on the significance of the overlap. Chia 3 also features visualization of the global mammalian transcription factor transcription factor regulatory network, in which enriched transcription factors are highlighted as nodes in the network. Interactive heat maps visualize inter and cross library transcription factor modules to enable users to explore the data within the Chia 3 transcription factor libraries. Chia 3 builds upon prior versions of Chia by including more libraries, adding benchmarks, and cross library analyses. Using the example seen in the previous slides, we can use that same gene signature to identify the transcription factors responsible for the associated changes in gene expression. Let's look at our earlier case study and apply it to Chia 3. So here's the homepage for Chia 3. Then the gene set is entered with each gene separated by a new line. Thereafter, the user submits their gene set. Chia 3 organizes tabular output of our transcription factor enrichment analysis with each transcription factor sorted and ranked by p-value. The integrated library is presented in a different color since it integrates the results of the analysis across all libraries. As seen in the right diagram, Chia 3 identified the transcription factors associated with the integrated libraries. We find that integrated libraries improve transcription factor prediction and are more confident that these transcription factors are upstream regulators from the inputted gene signature. Here we can see the Chia 3 web application interactive visualization of the transcription factor regulatory network. In this case, the top enriched transcription factors from the GTEx library are highlighted. A closer look into this network shows clustering of the top four enriched transcription factors, IKZF1, FLI1, and SP110. These were also in the top 10 results of the integrated library. 
IKZF1 is associated with poor survival in ovarian cancer. Overexpression of FLI1 triggers abnormal cell proliferation. SP110 is seen to regulate genes involved in apoptosis. So for the future directions of Chia, we hope to have publication quality figure downloadable in SVG format. We also intend to include additional visualizations of enrichment results. There hopes to be a feature of Chia 3 benchmarking in which users will be able to benchmark their pipelines with the Chia 3 data. There needs to be directional upstream transcription factor predictions in which there will be a distinction between an activators and repressors. We hope to have ranked list enrichment in which there will be GSEA and mutual enrichment of ranked lists. And the Chia 3 R package will be available on Bioconductor. With that being said, I'd like to thank Avi and Ali for their incredible mentorship over the summer, and the summer fellows for an amazing summer as well as the entire lab for the, their general support. Thank you so much.